inside this envelope are the secrets of a total stranger. Let's take a look. One weird thing you can buy off the internet is a stranger's diary. I bought a stranger's diary off eBay. It's here in this envelope. I think it cost about $15. Let's check it out. Okay, so, ooh, okay. Already it does smell musty. This diary is from 1964. It's from Australia. I am worried that I will at some point slip into a really bad Australian accent. And if that happens, I do apologize. This diary was written almost 60 years ago. So we have no idea who this person was. We're gonna learn about them from what they wrote in their diary. At the very beginning of the diary, before it even starts the first entry, it says, Hope this year is different. That sounds a little bit ominous. This seems a little on the nose, but the very first picture we get is a wallaby. Speaking of marsupials, have you seen those pictures of kangaroos where they're like super jacked and they look like they have the body of like a muscular human man, but it's really a kangaroo and they could ruin your life? This is cute though, this is a wallaby. Did anybody watch Rocco's Modern Life? Okay, let's read the first entry. Wednesday, January 1st, 1964. Up 9 a.m. 8. Ironed. Home 5 p.m. Took down tree. Will called. Bed early. Up at 3 a.m. Thursday, January 2nd, 1964. Attack. Stayed home. In bed all day. So weak. Okay, so we know this person had some kind of medical issue. They had an attack of some kind and had to stay home. They were weak. Friday, January 3rd, 1964. Work. Left 3 p.m. Home 4 p.m. 8. Bed early. Saturday, January 4th, 1964. Up late. Will over. 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. I don't know why. So we're not sure who Will is, but we know that Will came over for six hours and our diary writer wrote, I don't know why, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. So one of the big questions is, who is Will? The most interesting interpretation is that Will is a love interest or something. Sunday, January 5th, 1964, tossed all night, up early, did chores, lovely day, Will called in. Bath bed. The hardest thing is always trying to read people's handwriting. Monday, January 13th, 1964. Work. Busy all day. Will called. Silly? TV cards bed tossed. Will is definitely a romantic interest for our diary writer, especially with the tension in these comments that say things like silly. Friday, January 17th, 1964. Work. Sent in today for med school. Ate alone. Home by 9.30. Bed. So it's possible that this person is going to med school. Perhaps Will will miss this person because they're going away to med school. They could be any age, but they might be in their early 20s. Maybe they just graduated college. College. Will keeps calling. Thursday, January 23rd, 1964. Work, typed all day, met Will, fried chicken, etc. He left 10.30 p.m., sinuses drippy, bed. Friday, January 24th, 1964. Work, accepted by med school. Will called 9 p.m., cleaned, iron, etc. I feel like this is getting mustier somehow. That doesn't make sense. Sunday, January 26, 1964. Up 10 a.m. 8. Did puzzle. Read all day. Will called. Monday, January 27th, 1964. Forms for med school and laundry. 8. Read late. Called Will. Wednesday, January 29th, 1964. Work. Will called. Met at his place for dinner. Chinese food. Fun evening. Friday, January 31st, 1964. Work. Ate alone. Dull afternoon. Will called. Friday fried oysters, etc. Pleasant evening. Radio off. TV. Bed. Sunday, February 2nd, 1964. Up 8 a.m. Headache. Fruit juice and paper. Chatted with Will. Walk. Ironed. Red. Monday, February 3rd, 1964. Work. New bath mat. Ate alone. Not busy. Late evening. But mostly fun. Will called. 11 p.m. Bed. So apparently it was scandalous that Will called at 11 p.m. Because it says Will called 11 p.m. Exclamation point. Wednesday, February 5th, 1964. Work. Will called office. His place for gab and dinner. Cab home. He's guilty about sex from childhood. This diary has sex in it. 
Diagnosing Will's sex issues is above my pay grade. I'm just reading this diary. Friday, February 7th, 1964. Work. Busy afternoon. Will called. Will down late for dinner. He drank too much. Will was late for dinner and he drank too much. Not great, Will. Sunday, February 9th, 1964. Up 9am. Washed kitchen floor. Will argued. Mad at my reaction. Will is mad at our diary writer. I don't know why. It just says Will argued. Mad at my reaction. We don't know what they're arguing about. It's a mystery. There's tension. Is Will picking a fight because he knows that they're going off to medical school and their relationship has to maybe end anyway? Monday, February 17th, 1964. Work. Cold. Cards. Red late. No word from Will. Bed. Uh-oh. No word from Will. That's a little troubling. Tuesday, February 18th, 1964. Work. Dull. Dull. Will called. Cards. Bed late. Sunday, March 1st, 1964. Up early. Ate. Paper. Poured. Got soaked. Home 3 p.m. Called Will. Relaxed. Iron. TV. Bed. Ooh, we got some surf babes going on. This is the kind of stuff going on in Australia in the 60s, apparently. Monday, April 13th, 1964. Work. Hot. Busy. Mailed taxes again. Ate alone. Soup. Will called late. I wouldn't talk. Whoa, okay. They said, Will called late. I wouldn't talk. The tension with Will is mounting. What's going on here? Okay, our diary writer is on vacation in the United States. Wednesday, May 13th, 1964. Up late, Washington's Wax Museum. Kennedy's grave. Cool in New England, but pleasant. Sunday, May 24th, 1964. Drove into New York City. Ferry to Staten Island and back. Lobster dinner at Sheep's Head Bay. Bed late. <laughs> Thursday, June 4th, 1964. Work. Passport. Will down for dinner. Threw him out, 10 p.m. Threw him out? Tuesday, June 9th, 1964. Work. Nil to do. Will for dinner. Tossed all night. Tension keeps mounting with Will. Friday, June 19th, 1964. Work. Real busy. Ate alone. Met Will. Told him? No apparent surprise or reaction. Wonder how he actually feels. Okay, what did they tell Will? Did they tell Will they were leaving for medical school? Sounds like Will didn't react. Perhaps he was in shock. Perhaps he went numb. Perhaps he couldn't access his emotions. Maybe he's one of those people who when they get bad news just shuts down. Sunday, June 21st, 1964. Up late, eight, packed. Will called, off and on. Bath, etc. bed, off and on. What does that mean? Does that mean Will? Will is off and on as far as his affection is concerned. Will is being so sketchy. He is a mystery. Thursday, June 25th, 1964. Stayed in bed all day. Dozed. Will called. Exhausted. Another attack. This is the second time our diary writer mentions getting some kind of attack. Clearly some kind of medical issue, I wonder. Friday, June 26th, 1964. Work. Busy all day. Met Will. Steak at 2.30. He is so selfish. And expensive. Our diary writer says Will is so selfish. And expensive. I don't know what specifically they're referring to, but those are not good qualities. <laughs> selfish and expensive. It is not sounding good for Will. I wonder what he did. Yikes. Monday, June 29th, 1964. Work. Will called, silly, red travel book. So once again, when Will calls, we're told it's silly and it's hard to know exactly what that means from the context. <laughs> Like silly like frivolous or silly like goofy fun. Silly for me often has a positive connotation, but I feel like for a lot of people it has a negative one. So is silly Will good or bad? I don't know. Silly Will sounds like a clown. Okay, what do we think? Do we think Will and our diary writer are going to last? Do you think they'll continue to be long distance when this person goes to med school? Wednesday, July 15th, 1964. Last day at work. Cards and gifts. Thursday, July 16th, 1964. Slept in. Packed a couple of boxes. Saturday, July 18th, 1964. Up at 9 a.m. Vacuumed, etc. Will called. Wills for lazy afternoon. And TV. Home early. Paper. Wednesday, July 22nd, 1964. Up early. Packed. Will over.
whatsoever. He's no help with packing. Bed. Will is not helpful when it comes to packing. Surprise, surprise. I don't know what kind of animals these are, but they are cute. Well, I hope our diary writer maybe found a better boyfriend in the future. Or maybe Will got his act together and they lived happily ever after. I hope this person had a good time in med school and went on to become a successful doctor, if that's what they wanted, you know? Maybe they went to med school and they found that their path took them in another direction. We may never know. Australia in the 60s, a place, a place of tumultuous romance in college, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and it would probably be a good idea to turn on notifications too. Really quickly, if I can get this ping pong ball into that cup, I think you should subscribe to my channel.